Hey, good morning everybody. It is Friday the 16th and I'm in my car about to head to Spring at the Silos at the Magnolia Silos. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I had thought about not going today. Today is actually day two and um, on our local news last night on Facebook, I saw that there were like tens of thousands of people at this and you know, some of the local people that I'm friends with um, had posted about the traffic and things like that and trying to get in and get a parking spot and I had contemplated actually not going to this only because just getting back from spring break and I have so many videos that I need to film and edit and I had planned on editing my grocery haul this morning but um, after posting on Instagram that I was thinking about not going and receiving so many messages from you guys asking me to just please go ahead and go and vlog because you really wanted to see what it's like at Spring of the Silos. I'm excited about it. I um, go every year. I went last year. I filmed last year's Spring of the Silos. So if you want to see that, I will leave a link down below to that. And if you're not familiar with Spring of the Silos, that's basically where Chip and Joanna Gaines from Fixer Upper, from HGTV, they have a place called the Magnolia Silos here in Waco, Texas. And once a year at Spring of the Silos, they allow like little businesses all over the United States come and set up a booth and sell their own things, which I think is absolutely amazing. And every year I have also run into Joanna's mom. I saw her last year at Spring on the Silos. I saw her just a couple of months ago at their big sale that I vlogged. If you follow me on Instagram, the couple of days before the Magnolia Table, which is a restaurant that they own, um, debuted, we actually ran into Chip and his sons at Sports Clips, which was pretty cool. I was sitting there waiting on Braxton to finish getting his haircut, and here walks in Chip and his sons to come get a haircut at Sports Clips. And I was surprised to see that he had already shaved. He So he had already like the short buzz and no beard or anything like that. So he was just coming to get a touch up. And he was so nice and Braxton, after he got his hair cut, started walking towards Chip and had this big smile on his face just looking at Chip and he was looking at him like, Peg. And uh, Braxton came right up to me and said, hey, can you ask him to take my picture? And you know, I normally I don't like to interrupt and I, I wasn't going to say anything but I went ahead and went up to him and asked if he would take a picture with Braxton and he was so sweet and here, I'll go ahead and insert the picture here. So, I don't want to take up too much of your time with this because I know you're really here to see Spring at the Silos, so let's get going. I just got a message from Presley's teacher saying she forgot her fingerling, so I gotta go take her, her, hey, what's so funny? Anyways, um, I'm gonna take her her fingerling and then I'm gonna head to the silos. Okay, so we're coming up on the circle and if you saw my last vlog about the table, Magnolia table, um, I've talked about this circle and if you circle around this way, you'll see the Magnolia table. blocks away and I have to, have to say I've never seen it this crowded downtown ever pretty much every single parking lot is full and um, I just happen to squeeze into a spot but it's definitely crowded out here so I'm walking and have a few more blocks to go
and jewelry and design. So you make these for the for your hair? Oh, okay. It's beautiful. Thank you. I am. Oh my gosh.
with video. Okay. That's a wrap here at the Magnolia Silos. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. So I'm over here at Magnolia Table and fortunately it looks like somebody's gotten hurt. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm not gonna film over there. But somebody inside uh, is needing a stretcher. I'm not gonna film. So I came over here to Magnolia Table to show you a little bit more um, since my last video. Um, that I posted a magnolia table, but somebody has passed out. I don't know if it's the heat outside or what's going on, but uh, they were fanning somebody and they were about to put them on a stretcher. So hopefully she or he is okay.